Greetings my friends and welcome back. Now, once again, the weather people got it completely wrong. It's supposed to be a nice, fine, dry, sunny day. Er, uh, well it's not. It's been chucking it down all morning. It's wet, it's miserable, but there you go. So, I haven't walked too far into the permission because I've got a sneaking suspicion it's going to chuck it down with rain again. And I don't really want to be in the middle of nowhere when it does. So, we've got the field behind you, that one over there, and another one down there. So, we'll have a nosy around in these fields and hope that we can find something. So, I'll see you all, <laughs> hopefully, on the first signal. See you in a bit. Well, my good friends, here we are on the first signal. It's about eight inches deep. Uh, and it's this bizarre thing down here. I mean, good heavens, I don't know what that is. I mean, what on earth is that? Uh, it's obviously made out of metal, but I don't know what it is. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, do you know, I bet that is the knob off a tractor gear lever or something like that. I could be completely wrong, I don't know. But, that's the first find, my good friends. So, we'll pop it in the bag and we'll crack on a bit further. See you in a while. Well, my good friends, we've got another signal down here. Uh, came up at about 78 on the ID scale. It's about 7 inches deep. Just move that out of the way a bit. Uh, it's out of the hole and it's in there. So, let's open it together and have a look what we've got. You never know your luck, it might be something decent, or it might be a load of rubbish. Oh! I can see an edge. I just... Can you see that edge just there? So, once again, the burning question of the day, is it a coin, or is it a pesky button? Sorry about my nose running. Uh, right, let's have a look. Oh, might be a coin. It is a coin, but, as usual, it looks pretty much destroyed. But I don't care, because it's a nice find, and it's a coin. So there we are, my friends, the first coin of the day. And we'll pop it in the little boxy thing. Now, you might be wondering why we call it the little boxy thing. Well, I'll show you why. Because... It says, Robbie's little boxy thing. But that's not the one I put the coins in, actually. The one I put the coins in is just here. Uh, made it myself. Got it from the pound shop. Put some foam in it. Cut some little slotty things in it like that. And it goes in there. Okie dokie. Right, we'll pop all this away, fill the hole in. And we'll crack on a bit further. And the sun's coming out as well. Well, here we are again, my good friends. Uh, signal down there came up at about 70. Strangely enough, it looks probably made out of iron, but as we all know, round rings and such things give us cracking signals, and it's obviously what's left of a buckle. Uh, it, it, I don't know, it looks like iron to me, but I don't know. It might have got some other metals mixed in with it. But we'll pop it in the box and we'll crack on. Well, my good friends, uh, on to the next signal. Uh, it was about eight or nine inches deep. Uh, I thought it was a spindle wall at first, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. It's obviously made out of lead. Um, now, whether it was a spindle wall and it's been squashed, I don't know. But I can't think of anything else that that could be. Uh, a fairly round piece of lead with a hole in it. Although it looks more like a slotted hole. Maybe it's a different type of spindle wall, I don't know. But it's a very interesting piece all the same. Okay, right, we'll pop it in the little boxy thing and we'll move along. Right, my good friends, I'm just at the side of this pond here. Uh, we've got a signal down here, it came up at 74 on the ID scale. I don't need that because I can actually see it. Uh, I think it's a coin, although it's bent. Let's have a look. <coughs> I 
and it's got a hole in it as well. I think it's probably one of those love tokens. I don't know why they call them love tokens. It baffles me and it bewilders me. But I think that's what it is. Look, little love token coin bent in half. Uh, maybe it was an act of sacrifice or something like that. I don't know, but <laughs> I can I can just imagine them both stood at the side of this pond and the man being down on his bended knee looking up and saying I have fashioned you this love token from a beautiful coin so that you may wear it round your neck forever and then she probably looked down at him and said oh thank you kind sir but I do not feel worthy of such a wonderful gift when in actual fact what she were thinking is is that all you can afford you cheapskate <laughs> that's what it is I think it's a love token Right, we'll fill the hole in and we'll move along. Right boys and girls, I haven't moved away from the pond yet. I've only moved about two metres from where we got that last signal. Uh, there's another signal, well it was in the hole, but it's now in bar. So, let's open it up and see what we've got. See, so we've got a coin, a button, a load of rubbish. Oh, it might be another coin, might be another coin. You see it just there, look. Let's have a look. But it might be a button yet, yeah, I don't know. Might be another pesky button. Good heavens above. No, it's another coin. I don't... <laughs> I don't think there's much left on it, just by way of a change. But it's another coin all the same. Maybe I will be able to get something off it. Maybe I won't. But it's another nice little find. Right? Into the boxy thing and we'll crack on in that direction my friends. Well, <laughs> I'm still at the side of the pond boys and girls, I haven't moved very far. Uh, I'm not going to apologise for the wind because it's not my fault. But anyway, um, this just shows you what a good machine that the Technetics T2SE is. This hole is at least 10 inches deep and there's a target right down in the bottom there and I'm assuming it's one of the tiniest buttons I've found. Look at that, tiny tiny little button, 10 inches deep. I mean that's that's pretty good going by anybody's standards. I know it's only a button but it's it's just nice to find a, a, target, a, a target as small as that, uh, as deep as that. Anyway, I'll pop it in the boxy thing and we'll crack on my friends. Well, here we are again my good friends. <laughs> the wind now is getting seriously strong. Uh, I think we've got another coin just there. It was about seven inches deep. Uh, it was a bit scratchy. Maybe it was on its edge, I don't know. But there's the coin. Uh, looks as though it's got some nice green patina to it not entirely sure whether it's Queen Victoria it looks a little bit like it but it's another coin so I am as happy as Larry right into the boxy thing and best foot forward now then my good friends uh, I've put my glasses on for this one uh, it was about only about about six inches deep came up at 70 on the ID scale found it in one of these lumps here with a pinpointer and it's just there and I'm just hoping we might can you see that just there keep your fingers crossed because it looks like silver to me oh little silver threepenny bit or something like that hope it's not a button oh please god don't let it be a button Oh, hold on. Another look at it there, look. And what's that then? Oh, yes! Thank you very much. It's Queen Victoria. I'll just show you that. Can you see that just there? Queen Victoria. But I'm not sure what it is. It's very tiny. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it, I don't know. It might be a little threepenny piece or something. I'm not sure. I've never found one that small before. 
but that is a belter. I am happy as Larry. Okie dokie, right. Oh yes, now then. Where, where are we? Oh yes, the boxy thing's coming out now. Oh, oh. I'll make sure I don't lose that bugger. And there he goes in the boxy thing. Oh, that's a cracker. That's made my day. Made my day, that. Oh, well, all fingers and thumbs. Right, I'll check the hole. <laughs> I doubt very much whether there's another one down there, but I'll check it anyway. Uh, and I'm going to go for something to eat now. Right, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> right, my good friends, we've got yet another signal down here. Uh, came up at just shy of 70 on the ID scale. Uh, it's about, oh, it's only about five, six inches deep. I've narrowed it down, and it's somewhere in there. So, let's have a look. <laughs> We're not doing too bad on this dig, are we? We haven't had many pesky buttons. Let's hope this isn't a button as well. So, I'll tell you what, let me put my glasses on first so I can see what I'm doing. Right. I can just, I don't know if you can see that. Just see the edge just there. So. Well, there's the imprint anyway. And that looks like a coin. Although I don't know because it's very, very thin. But, let's have a look. Yeah, it's a coin, but once again, I don't think there's anything on it. Don't think there's anything on it at all. See that? Looks completely blank to me, but there you go. It's still another find. Okay, we'll pop it into a boxy thing and we'll crack on. This might be my last signal, actually. Uh, I've covered a lot of ground today and I'm getting a bit tired. Right, I'll fill the hole in and uh, see you in a while. Right, boys and girls, that's me done for today. The weather has been bizarre, to say the least. Blowing the gale, then it's calm, raining, not raining, cold, red hot. It's been a strange old day, but I've enjoyed it and I hope you have as well. Found a few nice bits and pieces, as you know. Uh, I'm going to do the round up at home, give me a chance to get cleaned up and what have you, and clean the finds. So, I'll see you all when we get back home for the round up. Okie dokie, see you in a bit. Hello again my good friends and welcome back. Now, just before we start, if you remember in the last video I dug up a pocket watch. <laughs> well, what was left of a pocket watch anyway. Anyway, Andy from Terra Englandia said that if it cleans up okay, it might make a nice display piece. Well, Andy, <laughs> it took me two hours with a Dremel and various attachments to the Dremel to clean it up, but it has cleaned up quite nicely. And that is the result. So I've put it in a little frame and uh, it has turned out quite nice, actually. I mean, a pocket watch was a bit of a bucket lister for me. Uh, but I was hoping to find one in a bit better condition than that. But I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with it anyway. So, nice one Andy. Good idea. Right, what did we find today? Well, we found a lot of rubbish, I'll tell you now. That is all the scrap that I dug up. In my little boxy thing. Gear lever off a tractor, various bits of scrap. A lot of lead. Awful lot of lead. Pigeon ring, little iron buckle that you saw, part of a ruler, loads and loads of scrap. Uh, as I say, I covered a lot of ground that day and I, I was quite tired. Um, the strange lead thing that I dug up with the slot in it, I can only think that it's part of a lead pipe that's been squashed. I can't think of anything else to be honest with you. Uh, it's not much of a button to look at, admittedly but that was the tiny tiny little button that was about 10 inches deep so it was quite a surprising find at that depth um, we dug this love token up I've dug a, in fact I've got another one here I dug this one up 
quite a, well, a long, long time ago. And that's one that's been bent in two different places, if you see what I mean. And that's another love token. I put that up years ago. Um, and that's the other love token with the hole in it. I don't know why they bent them like that. As I say, maybe it was an act of sacrifice. I'm not entirely sure. It's probably George the Third from about 1700, something like that. Um, that other coin there is a is Queen Victoria. It's in pretty poor condition. It's an old Victoria. She's got the veil on when she was in mourning. Uh, the date on that is 1896. Now these two coins here, I'm a little bit bewildered actually, because they don't feel right for coins. The weight and they just don't look right. So I think that they are some kind of farming token uh, from the 1700s. I'm not entirely sure, but they just don't feel right for coins, if you know what I mean. And that one's the same. It's got some very, very strange markings on it that I can just make out with the microscope. Uh, but that's what they are from the 1700s. Uh, that one is a George III half penny. There's nothing much on it, it's just the right size and weight. But, oh, oh, the find of the day was this little beauty. Uh, I'll get it right way up for you. Queen Victoria threepenny piece. Never found one of those before. I found shillings which I gave away in the 500 subs giveaway draw thing, it's a gogs. Uh, but that's that there, a little silver threepenny bit. And that's, <coughs> excuse me, that's the other side, just there. I'll put a photo at the end of the video. Uh, so that's that. Uh, so all in all, it wasn't a bad day really. So I just want to say thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I did apart from the weather, uh, just leaves me to say I'll see you all on the next Dig My Friends and thank you very much. Bye bye.